Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today, we are customizing the vehicle that needs no introduction. The greatest vehicle to ever grace Grand Theft Auto Online with its presence. It is of course the Canis Seminole. So we're gonna hop right inside of the Canis Seminole and we're gonna get into this customization. So to start off, obviously the armor all the way up, brakes all the way up as well, the engine as well, all the way up. Now for the horn on this vehicle, just because there's kind of a lack of customization options because the vehicle's perfect, uh, we are actually going to go ahead and change the horn. We're going to go for uh, we're going to go for something something interesting here. We're going to go for the uh, Liberty City Loop. I think that's a that's a fitting uh, soundtrack for this vehicle. Xenon headlights, of course, we're going to go for those. And for a neon kit, I was thinking about maybe putting one on this thing just for some extra like drip. But honestly, the Canis Seminole, I feel like Neon just doesn't go with this thing at all, so we're not going to go ahead and put that on. We are, of course, going to change the plate to yellow on black. The respray, I think we're going to do something different with this thing. Probably go for my crew color, just like my other Canis Seminole. But for the secondary color, we're also going to go for the crew color. Just kidding. We're not, actually. We're going to go for maybe a black, maybe uh, maybe something else. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to see... I'm actually kind of joking about going for the crew color for the primary. I've already done that. It's, you know, we've been there, done that sort of thing. Uh, black steel does look really fantastic on this car. I mean, every color really just looks good on the Canis Seminole. There's no color that looks like better than another, to be honest. Uh, bleached brown honestly kind of looks mint. Uh, so that, that might be a consideration, honestly. However, I've never seen an ultra blue can of Seminole, and that is honestly kind of catching my eye right now. So I think we're going to go for a ultra blue can of Seminole, maybe for the primary and the secondary. Should we go all out? I think we should. Obviously, it's the can of Seminole. We're going to go all out. Now for the suspension on this can of Seminole in particular, this is more of a, a sporty can of Seminole, I think, for this build. So we're going to go for competition suspension. If I was planning on going off-roading a lot with this thing, I probably wouldn't lower it. But I think this is going to be maybe my street version of the can of Seminole. So we're going to lower the suspension. We're also going to upgrade the transmission all the way, of course, the turbo as well, obviously. Now for the wheels, this is where things are going to get interesting. We got to pick some wheels that look good on this thing. Now I'm going to start off with the sports category uh, because I wanted to, you know, I kind of want to go crazy with this thing. Now the S racer looks really good. Um, I want to see what the Mercies look like. Where are the Mercies? There they are. The Mercies actually also look really good on this thing. So I, I think, I think I'm going to go for the Mercies to be honest. Uh, however, I do want to check the street category. Maybe see what my favorite rims look like. I'm not gonna lie, that's too icy. We gotta go for the concave mega mesh. We're gonna have to do it to him. Now for the wheel color, we could of course go black. That does look really good, of course. Uh, we could go for a stone silver as well. Could go for a frost white to really go crazy on him. Could even go for another blue to match up with this thing. I mean, that is kind of baller to go for the uh, the bright blue rims on the ultra blue can of Seminole. I don't know. That's kind of sick. I'm, I'm honestly thinking about it. But at the same time, the black just looks so clean. So I think we're going to have to go for the black. We are, of course, going to put bulletproof tires on this thing. Tire design, we could do one. Although the can of Seminole, you know, even though it is the fastest vehicle in the game, I don't think we're going to go for like a racing you know, look to this thing. So we're going to leave the uh, the tire lettering off. Uh, for the tires though, we got to go for some tire smoke. I think given the blue theme, it's only appropriate that we go for blue smoke. I mean, it makes sense. And for the windows, we are of course going to tint those all the way out. This thing, I mean, obviously it looks absolutely fantastic. So I think we're pretty much done here. We're going to take this thing outside. We're going to do a sound test and a full review on the car. All right, we're outside. Let's see just how good the Canis Seminole sounds. This thing sounds absolutely incredible. It's, it's definitely one of the best sounding vehicles in the entire game. Uh, there's no denying that. Obviously, it's also one of the fastest vehicles in the game, and it, honestly, it's probably one of the best looking as well. Obviously, that last part is up to your own interpretation, but I mean, I don't think any of us can deny this is absolutely fantastic. Honestly, the concave mega mesh rims do look really damn good on the Canis Seminole. I I'm pretty happy about that, I can't lie. 
I wish that the Canna Seminole had a little bit more customization that you could do to it, but unfortunately it doesn't. Although it is the Canna Seminole, so like, let's be honest, we know it doesn't need any customization because it's already perfect just as is. So that's probably Rockstar's reasoning for not allowing us to change this thing because it's like fine art. You don't go and paint on top of the Mona Lisa, you know, you go and get a new canvas. The Canis Seminole is essentially the Mona Lisa or any other really famous painting or art piece that's perfect in every single way. The Canis Seminole is just basically God in a car's form. On top of that, as you guys can see, it is also one of the fastest vehicles in the entire game. The handling is out of this world. If you just saw that, went around that corner with no drama, absolutely nothing with the Canis Seminole. I mean, th this thing can go around pretty much any corner you throw it at perfectly at like 10 trillion miles an hour. A lot of people don't know this, but the Canis Seminole is actually faster than the Benefactor Krieger, which I know that might seem surprising, but it is the truth. And not many people know about that. Only the viewers of this channel actually know about that. So uh, if you are one of the viewers of this channel, then obviously it's a it's a fact that you uh, that you must familiarize yourself with. The Canis Seminole's handling, I, I'd place it somewhere in between the Progen Emerus and the uh, Benefactor BR8. It's it's about that good. Obviously, you know, being an SUV, it's not going to have as great of handling as you know the the BR8 necessarily. But I put it in between the Emerus and the BR8. I mean. You can throw this thing at a corner and it's going to go around it one way or another and it's going to do it well it's going to look great doing it so that's really what counts obviously sounding as good as it does looking as good as it does performing as good as it does i mean this is the fastest sorry highest top speed vehicle in all of grand theft auto online maxing out at 295 miles per hour which is pretty crazy the canna seminole also if you look on the uh, on the website where you buy this thing it says that the Canis Seminole actually has 10,000 horsepower, which I know 10,000 is kind of a lot. And for a 295 top speed, it's like seems a bit overkill. The thing is, is Canis's engineers actually had to stop this vehicle from going any faster than 295 miles an hour because it would enter another dimension of speed and no police agency on this planet would be able to stop it from achieving whatever it wanted. So. It's more of a safety feature just in case the uh, driver gets knocked out or something like that with their foot on the gas pedal. Obviously, safety is a huge priority at Canis. Uh, they're one of the greatest brands ever. And, you know, the Seminole being as powerful as it is, they wouldn't want it to hurt anybody unintentionally. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the Canis Seminole customization and review. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more customizations, let me know in the comments down below. I'm happy to do them for sure. Let me know what you thought of my Canis Seminole in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't, of course, and if you're a Seminole denier. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.